Good morning, St. Pius. I'm Philip St. John. And I'm Namdi Anyanike. And you're watching The, the X, Factor. X Factor. Please stand for prayer and pledge. Mwah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's Saint of the Day is Saint Cyprian. He was a bishop of Carthage and notable early Christian writer of Berber descent. He is also recognized as a saint in the Christian churches. He was born around the beginning of the 3rd century in North Africa, where he received a classical education. Soon after converting to Christianity, he became a bishop in 249. His skill for Latin rhetoric led to his being considered the preeminent Latin writer of Western Christianity. Wow, that dude, pretty studious. I feel like that's a Mr. Lamble type saint. Lamble likes classic education. As do we all. Current announcements. Make sure you're buying your yearbooks. $55, they're right now, 55 but the price, price is gonna go up January 1st. Yes, yeah, so get them before second semester or else you'll be paying more for the same thing. Swim news, the 200 medley A team, 200 free relays earned a state consideration. Good Keep job, guys. Swimming. Keep swimming. A daycare in Liberty is hiring part-time afternoon teachers. You must be 18 years old and love children, Monday through Friday, three to six. Please ask Mrs. Martin in the office for details. Do you love kids? No. Once again, I'm asking if you're good with graphic design, hit me up. Please. Yeah. We need something fresh. We yeah, need this, something this, new. This wow. has got to be cool. We'll give you credit, too. We will give you credit. I swear <laughs> I won't steal it. Yeah. Pay your artist. Good luck to everyone taking the ACT tomorrow. I had to move my date back because I wasn't ready for it. Mine's in, like, October, so that is not me. Yeah, I know Mia Simone's taking the ACT tomorrow. And Lord knows how that'll go. <laughs> Today's story of the day is with Tyler Racy and it's Athlete of the Week. What's going on, St. Pius? Uh, as you all know, this is our, we're starting a new segment called Athlete of the Week. Our first athlete is Robbie Sharp from the football team. Uh, he's spent a stellar performance in the past two weeks, uh, taking the football team 2-0. Week 1 stats, uh, he had three touchdowns, 133 yards for eight carries. And Week 2, he had 13 carries for 65 yards and also three catches for 65 yards. Robbie, tell us about uh, those week one and week two performances. How'd you, how'd you feel about the team? Um, felt good, uh, especially week one, getting Simone, Coach Simone. Uh, his first career win as a head coach felt really good and just great. Uh, feel privileged to be able to uh, get out and play because I know some schools don't have uh, the privilege that we have, so just making the most. I'd say on the field, uh, the difference has been our linemen the past two weeks. Uh, Tommy Wassinger, Peter Perlick, Charlie Palminteri, Frankie John Charito, Charlie Gangler, Ronaldo Ambries, and Matthew Boatwright have made it so much easier for me to do my job on the field, and I appreciate that. Just, what pro athlete do you, do you look up to? Uh, definitely Christian McCaffrey, uh, running back for the Carolina Panthers. I've looked up to him ever since he started uh, playing in the NFL. Good times, that wraps it up here for Athlete of the Week. We'll see you next week. It's always fun to hear about the athlete oh, of the yeah. week. Robbie Sharp goes hard. He does go it's hard. Crazy. Shout In out the to paint him. and on the field. Yes, sir. Sports for today. Varsity football at Cameron. Don't pull up. Don't. At all. But good luck tonight. Good luck. Yeah. Lunch for today is a sub sandwich. Happy birthday today to one of my best friends, Gabe Elliott. Fun fact about Gabe Elliott, he can do a backflip. And he also has really long arms. That's the only fact I know about Gabe Elliott. That's all you need to know about Gabe Elliott. That's how we became friends. Happy I said, birthday, Gabe I said whoa, that's cool. And then he did it again, and I was like, we got to be friends now. All right, St. Pius, that is all the news that we have for you today, and we are going to see you on Monday. This has been Namdi Onyanike. And Philip St. John. Clocking out. Ah.